your gag reflexes. Like, ah, 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 ah. And my stomach was like, player, what the hell are you doing? All right, this is the nightly check-in for day one, which is actually surgery day. I've been keeping up with my Tylenol and my ibuprofen. I'm not in pain, I'm just sore. Then the most part, to be honest with you, is this throat. That breathing tube, oh my God, that did a number. So I tried to eat chicken noodle soup. The noodles was a no-go. My husband fixed me some fish for dinner, like sauteed fish. Made a little bit of that. And then I just went ahead and opted for a thing of applesauce and some tea. So hopefully tomorrow my throat will be a better scenario tomorrow. But that is check-in of surgery night. Good morning, y'all. It is day two. Soreness has definitely crept up to another level. Manageable, yes, but it's definitely not like it was yesterday. So it's a little harder for me to move around today. I'm feeling a little bit of the gas in my shoulder like she told me I would. I slept on this wedge too because they suggested that you kind of be elevated a little bit in your bed. So you have to sleep on your back. Like I said, everything is manageable. The worst thing right now for me, I cannot eat because this throat is so sore. So hopefully after some more tea and honey and all that stuff, I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll see you this evening. All right, guys, it is night two. I've already put my night guard in, so just please look past it. I'm not taking it out. Today has been a really good day. I did a whole lot of walking around the house today. I forced myself to really just stay up all day instead of being in bed because that's important to keep your circulation going and all that so you won't develop blood clots. I'm still sleeping on my wedge, which has been a lifesaver. And I also use this to sit up right. I ate really well today. I got some food that had onion in it and didn't really think about it. And if you know anything about having something done with your stomach, then eating something that makes you develop gas, painful. So I've been doing the chewable Alka-Seltzer tablet, and that's been helping a lot. My stomach is a little sore towards the nighttime, so I have a heating pad on my stomach, and that's been helping a lot. Shout out to Shan from Dre and Shan TV for giving me the um, advice about using a heating pad on my stomach. Other than that, I did have my first bowel movement since I've had surgery. That was a concern of the doctors. They said, if you haven't done one in two days, you need to come back because anesthesia does back you up. But my girlfriend, Randy, came over and brought over groceries, snacks, and beauty products. What else can a girl ask for? But she brought over some grapes. So I ate the grapes and that bowel move was like, so I will check back in with you all on tomorrow. There she is, fam. Breakfast is ready. You gotta help me get up. Yep, I'm gonna ready. help you get up. I just wanted them to see your pretty face before you got up. Well, my pretty face hasn't even been washed this morning. So let's get y'all this beer so you can get some food on your stomach so you can take you all the medicine. Well, good morning. It is day three and I am up and I am Adam. I'm up now. My husband is fixing breakfast and whatnot. Appetite is back. Throat much better. I'm walking a lot better. The only thing that I have going on right now is the bottom of my stomach just feels so heavy on that bikini cut that I have. And I still have not had to take the hard medicine. Everything has been managed with the Tylenol and the ibuprofen. Honestly, can't complain. So far, it is day three. I'll check in with y'all this evening. Since my check-in this morning, I mean, nothing's really changed. Um, my throat is feeling much better, but it's kind of like it goes in waves. Like, at some points, your throat is like almost 95% better. Then sometimes it backs up to 75%. So it just could be the fact that I'm eating more, irritating it more. So I've been doing a lot of tea today, um, but I've been eating my butt off today. A, if that's the trade-off for a sore throat, so be it. I sat up and walked around almost all day today. Just forced myself to be up and try to acclimate myself to some type of normalcy. 
I did not take as much of the Tylenol and Ibuprofen today as I did yesterday. Showered today, got the bandages and everything wet. Um, didn't scrub them as the doctor said, don't scrub them. Just let them get wet. Gas pains are a mother -bucker. I guess that will wrap up my update until tomorrow. Well, good morning. It is day, technically day four, but post-op day three. Um, but this morning I feel pretty good. Appetite is definitely back, so I can appreciate that. The only problem that I see that I'm consistently having is the gas pain in the shoulder blades. Oh my God. So if it's not gone anywhere by tomorrow, I might have to call the doctor and be like, is this normal? I know they said a few days, but a few days to me is two days. My stomach, when I lay down at night, I can feel like the liquids um, just sloshing around. So anytime I turn, it's like a sound like a jug of orange juice. That's annoying. Um, sometimes it's borderline like nauseating. So I've been trying to make sure that um, everything is settled before I get in bed. Everything else seems to be just falling back into place. Peeing, same. Pooping, same. I know it's TMI, but some people do have a problem with getting severely constipated after surgery. Like today, I haven't, I just took some Tylenol and that's only because I'm going to attempt to get in the car today and go for a ride because cabin fever is it's real today. I know that the car ride on Friday tore me up. So I just put some Tylenol in my system to give myself a, a pain barrier. Hopefully and prayerfully the worst of it is over. There's only been one incision that has been giving me the blues. And that one isn't even hurting as bad today. But that's it. That's the check in for this morning. Oh, I was going to say, I told her last night that she is very, very impressive through this whole thing. You know, she had cried, but really flinching, that has not happened. And for her not to take those oxycodone and handle that pain the way that she has is super impressive. And I told her I'm proud of her because not too many people can do that, man. It's not borderline scary, though, but for real, for real, because even in the hospital, the nurses was like, I don't know what you're made out of, but like we had told y'all before, it was like, there's been people in here that has been through way less. Mm -hmm. They cannot handle what you just went through. Yep. And they was like, you're barely even in a pain. When I woke up, my pain level was like three, four. And they was like, really, at this point, we're managing your pain. And I feel like you probably can do this at home so you can go home. Mm -hmm. All of y'all, you know, y'all probably already have heard my rant about the whole um, opioid thing. I'm not a fan of taking anything that doing it wrong one time could have your whole life bucked up. But I'm not opposed to doing something that's going to make me feel better as long as I feel like I'm doing it correctly. So don't think that I'm not taking the codone and I need it. I really can honestly tell you I have not needed it. It's scary. It's scary that I have a pain tolerance like this, but I haven't needed it at all i'm kind of impressed with myself y'all because i've been hearing people and i watch youtube videos and people have been going through it and i'm just and you know you always try to be like well don't let me celebrate just yet because the bottom might be ready to fall out mm -hmm. but i honestly would say if i think the bottom was going to fall out it would have fell out by now but of course i'll be here to keep y'all posted and this probably has been the most lengthy morning update that you'll probably get I'll see y'all this evening. All right, ladies, let me tell you, if you are having difficulty with your throat bouncing back, or if you are experiencing the gas and the tightness from the O2, this mixture right here is gonna help you out a lot. Get the mint medley. If you can just find something with peppermint in it, like peppermint tea, get that. And then this lemon tea, I love lemon. I'm telling you, if you mix those two together, you know, seep them into a cup, it's going to help you out tremendously. It's gonna help your throat and it's also gonna help neutralize that gas that you have inside. All right, y'all, so I'm checking in for my nighttime check-in. Day four, but post-op day three. I can honestly tell you that this was the first day where I have felt wiped out. Like when I tell you, 
I just wanted to just be still and not do anything. And every time I went to do something, I just felt like I just needed to sit down and just chill out. Like I felt like my body has been through something. Still not in no crazy pain, nothing like that, but just feeling like you just needed to chill out. Um, I did go for a ride with my husband today. We went out um, and we sat in the Arby's parking lot and I got me a milkshake and a fish sandwich. Other than that, it's been a good day. Um, I'm still having the gas on the stomach kind of thing a bob going on. So I don't think there's anything alarming. That is the update for tonight and I will see you all in the morning. Um, The doctor told me I would probably feel human around day four it is right not too over exerted i feel like i even want to maybe play in some makeup you know who does that me i feel like i want to do redo my hair today which i'm not but i feel like i could if i really wanted to husband's been doing a wonderful job which he always does so this isn't new he's just been doing his thing around here incisions feel pretty good i still have that sloshing around of the stomach but i from what i'm reading i haven't called my doctor or anything like that because i don't think it's abnormal but from what i've heard it's still pockets of gas that are trapped in there between your intestines and stuff and it's the fact of you have a space in there now that is not being occupied so everything's trying to shake and move and fall into place and do what it needs to do i think i'm good and i'm rambling so I'll check in with y'all to see. So it's afternoon. Today I wanted to test the theory to see if I was taking the ibuprofen and Tylenol as a just in case because I don't want to keep taking something that my body just doesn't need. So I decided I was going to just prolong it and to see if around noonish will I feel the need to have it and so far I don't feel the need to have it so so far today I have been ibuprofen and Tylenol free we're getting ready to go out to go vote and we're gonna go ahead and cast our votes and then come back in the house I got in the shower this morning and I am convinced that you should not shower every day at least that first week do every other day because showering wipes you out you hear what i said of course wash your wash your skin every day wash your face every day but don't get in that shower every day because it will literally just all the energy that you regain it will wipe you out and yesterday i got a call from my short-term disability from my job he was like i talked to the doctor's office but they didn't confirm whether or not you had laparoscopic surgery or an open hysterectomy i said well i can tell you now i had both he said, huh? I said, well, they started laparoscopically and then they couldn't get the uterus out laparoscopically, so they cut me. And he was like, oh, okay, eight weeks. So that was taken care of. One of the things that are actually annoying me, and this is just a self-care type of thing. Every morning I scrape and I brush my tongue. And I can tell you, you can't do that when you had this surgery. What you're not gonna do is trigger your, um, your gag reflexes. I tried it earlier today. I was like, ah, 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 ah. and my stomach was like, player, what the hell are you doing? But other than that, get ready to go out, like I said. Well, and I'm coming right on back in the house and doing absolutely nothing. Oh, before I hang up the phone, like the old people would say, um, I greatly appreciate everybody that's been reaching out to me. Y'all have been rock stars within your own right. Y'all been like, Lynette, you good? You need me to send you anything? You've been encouraging me. Um, some of you all have told me your personal testimonies. And I've actually been able to encourage some people that's getting ready to go through this exact same thing very, very, very soon. Sometimes in life, you just never know why you are putting the information out that you're putting out because a lot of times it's helping somebody and a lot of times it's preparing somebody for something that they are themselves fearful of. And I think about all the other YouTubers that I researched when I was getting ready to have this done and what if they had kept all the information to themselves, you know? So um, I just wanna say I greatly, greatly appreciate you all. I know some of you all were like, oh my God, take it easy, Lynette. Don't do this, don't do that. And you know, all of that is good information, but trust this chick right here, Y'all know I'm tough and y'all know I'm stubborn, but I ain't never gonna do anything that's gonna make my, that's gonna create a setback for myself. Nah, ain't gonna do that. So just know that Lynette ain't doing nothing that Lynette don't feel her body is ready to do. Trust. All right, we finally got our clothes on. So now we get ready to go and vote. All right, we just arrived, so time to go in.
and vote. <sighs> All right, we don't we don't vote it. There's a net I voted tag right there. Right there, she is. I decided today that I wanted to get some Jamaican food for dinner. And I don't want to eat in. I just, I don't know if, I, if I'm, that's just doing too much. So we're going to run out, go get that food. I have my belly band on, but I put it under my clothing. Because you know how you have some people in life that they'll, if they got a neck collar, they're going to put it all the way right here, tuck their hair in it because they want everybody to know there's something wrong with them. I'm the opposite. If something wrong with me, I'm going to try to camouflage that thing as best as I can. But I am telling you what I am doing. Don't y'all judge me because I don't judge y'all. I've been using my mama's handicap um, tag. Let me tell y'all something. On another note, no, I'm chewing gum. Oh, stand slow down. Ooh. Abdominal surgery, had a baby, had a C-section, all of that. Riding in the car, belly band is a necessity. Don't let nobody tell you it's an option. It's a necessity. Cause Stanley took off going down the street forgetting about everything. Cause he said, he said, you do so well. Yeah, I sometimes keep on I forget that you actually had something done. And he hit every bump coming out of our driveway. And that belly bag kind of just kept everything from like sloshing around. It's an airbag for your belly. <laughs> See what the net got. Got the ox tails. Oh man. They look like they all broke up, so they better be tender and good. Mm -hmm. Plantains, coconut rice, and macaroni and cheese. Yeah. A lot of carbs. Alright, good folks. Let's see what I got. Man, that looks good. Man. And that's our curry chicken. And I got the uh, Spanish rice. I got me some uh, carrots and uh, cabbage and some red beans, man. Yeah, this guava punch right here because the neck hurt is really good. Let me see. It's good, but I've had that before. You know what it tastes like? The guava juice on the Convo Cruise ship. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. So we get ready to throw down this food and we'll see y'all later. Boo! Well, good morning, y'all. Listen, look, I look real parched this morning, and it's because I am. I am just getting my throat together after having surgery. The crazy thing about it, this time last Friday, I was almost done with surgery. Crazy. That time has flown that fast. But it's taking me that long to get my throat back together. Oh, my God. I had the worst case of sore throat after surgery. At first it was the whole throat, like it was just uh. And then it was like one spot on my throat. I don't know if maybe the two gashed me right there or was a little extra rough right there, but it was just one spot. So try getting your water intake in when your throat is already burning and on fire with every swallow. It's not gonna happen. So I know that I'm very parched, so. But yeah, Stanley left out this morning to go to the barber shop real quick because all way long he hasn't poor thing he hasn't been able to really do anything for himself because he really didn't want to leave me unattended for good amounts of time. So what he had been doing was if my mom was here, he would run out and do little things. So this morning he got up and went to the barber shop. The thing about it is he's gonna have to kind of get used to just kicking the training wheels off because next week he's back to work and i am here solo dolo by myself um my sister-in-law stanley's sister said that she would stop by on monday and check on me for a little while because she's off on mondays so that's really cool but other than that i'm i'm more my own child other than that um stanley wants to take me out to eat today get me out of the house my surgeon did say that it was imperative that i get back to a sense of normalcy as soon as my body will let me and i actually feel like my body has let me get there way sooner than I expected it to but even with that I'm still not doing too much if I feel like I'm having a day where I just want to get out and go somewhere I'll get out and I'll go and I'll get in the car and I'll let Stanley ride me around and maybe while he goes in the store I stay in the car or something like that but last night I wanted some um Caribbean food so here in RVA it's um black restaurant week 
So I particularly wanted to support a black owned restaurant on yesterday. But yeah, did that yesterday. So today he just wants to take me to like P.F. Chang's or something like that. One last hoorah before he goes back to work. And he wanted to go for dinner. But I said, you know what? The way that I know the instructions that I've been given by my surgeon. I know that I am approved to be on short term for my job. All of that. But sometimes you just have to not play it safe but sometimes you just don't give people anything to talk about so i told him i said why don't we just do it in the daytime at lunch hour and we'll just let the night people be the night people because i really don't have time for people to be like oh my god i saw one that out and da -da 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 -da. even though it's nothing they can do sometimes you just don't even want the hassle because where i work these Fortune 500 companies are cut the rope. You hear what I said? And a whole lot of people got laid off right before I left. But anyway, I'm about to get up and do a little something, something with my life. All right, we done got dressed, so we are going to P.F. Chang's, y'all. So let's go ahead and take this ride. Ready? Outfit of the day. I look real confused, y'all. I got a some pink joggers. Belly bag, a necessity for the car, but I'm gonna take it off when I go in. And some other boots. Hey. And a ruffled boohoo shirt. So, yeah. So, you ready to go? I'm ready to go. My stomach almost went flat, flat, but uh, I'm still speaking to y'all. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in a little bit but this is literally the second accident we've seen and it makes someone like me very very nervous because although I can be out and about things like this scare the freak out of me this is one of those times where I regret not having the camera on and keeping it on someone hit a house yeah tore all the concrete up i mean the yard looks like a tornado went through it all right we on in pf change now so we sit back waiting to uh, order our food and of course you know when it come out we're gonna have to show y'all what we got here so good chains um special chicken chainsaw y'all know what it is chicken. Yeah. all right No cameras. Y'all want to see my boo boos? That's almost the glue is almost off of that. It's almost off of that one. The other ones are lower. You can't see those. Yeah. None of them hurt except for one. One. Yeah. And then of. The big incision don't hurt at all. No, Only crazy. when I cough and sneeze. Which is crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the big incision don't hurt at all. Yeah. But that little one right here, right here. So I got you. That motherfucker hurts. Hmm. Well, happy Sunday. This is my last day with my bae. He go back to work tomorrow. Yeah, man. I already said cleared it up. Don't be like, uh, what you mean the last day? Where he going? What's happening? And he go back to work tomorrow, and I uh, am pretty much on your own. Besides, what Mama can do for you. I had a whole moment on Friday night. He did. He had a <laughs> he had an emotional <laughs> breakdown. <laughs> Nearly had me in tears. He was crying. I don't know if you want me to put that out there. Yeah, yeah. I had a little little tinkle winkles in my eyes. Say, hey, you had a little thug tears. Yeah. He I tried like, to hold them back, but it just, it just, it just, it just, it just all just came out. But I love seeing that part of you, that side of you. Like he was like he didn't. Want I barely to. ever cry. No. So he was like, you know, he didn't want to leave me, you know, but he feels better about leaving me at home because yeah, because the way you progress. I've been doing my thug fizzle. But, but I don't want to leave because I think about all the stuff that I've done to keep stuff rolling, and I know you ain't even gonna be able to do it. 
quarter of that. It's gonna be all good. I guess say such is life, you know. It is what it is. I just hope that I don't lose it again tonight. <laughs> no, I don't need to lose it in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And go to work with all puffy eyes. I'm like, what's wrong with you? So I told him, I said, what I might do is when he gets up and go to work. Yeah, you know, that's just me talking right now. Yeah is before he leaves out the door, I'll get up and do my shower and do all of that. Because I know one of his main things that he likes to do is sit kind of close to the bath while I'm showering, just to make sure that I'm okay. Because if I drop something in that shower, it's pretty much gonna be there, you know what I mean?